Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In the last video, we learned what are environment variables in GitHub workflow and how to declare environment variables and how to access them. In this video, let's try to understand how to set environment variables programmatically. This is the workflow we have created in our last video. I'll make use of the same workflow and uh, I'll show how to set environment variables programmatically. I'll copy this uh, step. I'll call it set env variables programmatically. And here we are going to set the environment variables. So this is very similar to how we set step outputs, which we have seen in our previous videos. We had a variable that is assigned with some uh, value and then we used uh, arrows. Then we had a GitHub underscore output. So here, instead of GitHub underscore output, we'll use env, GitHub underscore env. This is used to set environment variables. Now, let's try to define a variable. Let's say count equals, I'll say 10,000. The name of the variable can be user defined. It can be lowercase, uppercase, combination of numbers, strings, etc. Just make sure it doesn't start with GitHub underscore because GitHub underscore is reserved for the default GitHub variables. So uh, I'm using count equals uh, 10,000 or uh, uh, it can be a uh, caps. Now I'll try to access this in the next step. So I'll call this uh, step access environment variable run echo to display the environment variable. We can either use this syntax uh, like this dollar count or you can use this expression. So env dot count. Let's commit the changes and see if it works. Go to actions. Our workflow started running. Now we have uh, set environment variables programmatically. Here we are setting count equals uh, 10,000. Then we have access environment variable and we see the value of uh, count. And even if you observe the environment object here, we have channel name, which is a global environment variable and count is a variable that was set programmatically. Let's go back to our workflow. Environment variables, edit this. Let's see if we can update the environment variable, which is already defined. Let's try to update the global environment variable and also the variable that was set programmatically. Let me copy paste the same step again. So I'll say update environment variables. And I'll use uh, multiple lines here. So I have a pipe symbol. First, I'll try to update channel name. It's simple. You just have to assign a different value here for the same variable name. So this is channel name. Here I use channel name. Previously, it was interview pro. Now it's test and count also instead of uh, 1 lakh, I'll say uh, uh, 10,000, I'll say 20,000 or 2 lakhs. And let's try to print these values. I'll copy this step, paste it here. Access updated ENV variables. Here I'll use a multi-line script, echo dollar count and echo dollar channel name. Let's try to commit. actions now uh, we have already seen these two steps if i open environment variable and expand the script so initially channel name was interview pro and count was uh, one lakh in this script we have updated this to test and the count to two lakhs now if i open the next step 
I see the updated values. So previously it was interview pro. Now in the even in the environment object, we see the values updated. Channel name is test count is two lakhs. Uh, the steps before this step will have the original values. So here it would be interview pro because we are updating only at this step. The updated values will be available to all steps after this step. We updated the global environment variable, which is workflow wide variable. So this will be available in all jobs and the job one is updating this environment variable in one of its steps and all the steps in this job one are using the updated environment variable. Let's see if this updated value reflects in job two as well. So I have created job two, which runs on Ubuntu latest and this runs only after job one is completed and I'm using dollar channel name from job two. Let's see if it displays interview pro or test commit changes. Now job one is running. We see job two also triggered. So if I open greetings, it says hello interview pro. If I expand the script and look at the environment variable, it's still interview pro. This is because the environment variable was updated inside job one at step level. So it won't be available or it won't be affecting the other jobs. So this is how you create environment variables programmatically and update them. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.